Hey guys, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I build a double-sided arch. And I wanna walk you through the process of how to build this from start to finish. We're gonna show you how to form your arch to get it perfectly, just like you see we have it up there. So with no further ado, let's dive right into the video. But before we jump into the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already subscribed for more content like this one. Let's get started. I'm not sure if you guys, um, my camera was recording, but all I did, I rest my, I sit my, um, my first stone, I sit it flat onto my arch, and then I just mark this one here so that it can start to form the arch. All we have to do is just sit our stone perfect on our arch, just like so. Make sure that it's sitting flat onto our arch. This is how you're gonna form your arch. You see as I go. Keep on watching. Just gonna plaster a mortar onto a stone, just like so. Down, but you wanna make sure that it's sitting down perfectly flush onto your heart. That's basically how you're gonna form it. This arch that we're using, cut it ten and a half same height as the biggest size stone that we have here that way it should match up back with um, our joint so as you go around laying your, uh, your soldier post you want to make sure that your stone is sitting flat onto your heart that's how you're going to form the heart if you if it tilt up too much from the heart then it's going to look crooked later on so take your time and in some cases you might gonna have to cut your stone as you see we go we're gonna make a few cuts here as well but as I go down, I try to make the stone sit down as level as I can. Some of them might look a little bit because, um, you know, they... We also want to make sure that our, the edge of our stone is coming right out to the head of our arch here because we already run our line right across just to make sure that it's nice and straight in line. Once we follow this, this arch that we have here, we should be perfect right across you might gonna have to have to do a bit of cut as you see here we sit this one this one here looks like we already need to um, we're gonna start our cuttings right here now get on a little bit of water into this joint we just need somebody come up here and cut off both. This one maybe no need to cut. Now. Maybe we can put this one in. But maybe another two or so. I'm going to need some of them to cut. Just so the way you want to mark your stone in case you need to make a cut. You want to mark down at the bottom closer to the stone. So for instance you sit your stone flush onto your heart and up top you have a half an inch or maybe a one inch space. If you're going with a half an inch joint, you're gonna remove half an inch from the bottom of the stone. So that way the top of the stone go more closer. So that way you have a more tighter joint. So for instance, right here where I'm putting, I'm taking the model from, if you wanna go more tighter with the top, in order to go tighter with the top, you'd have to cut the bottom towards where the model is. So you cut half an inch from that and that way will go in half an inch. You see as I go. So right here, I'm gonna make a mark. I'm just gonna make mark half an inch from the side that we're putting our model on, which it would be the. Okay guys, so this is where we are to finish most of our stone. What I'm doing right now, I'm just compacting my joints. What I did earlier, these stone at the back, I try to match them with the one at the front. We try to line it up with the bottom joint and also line up the top one as well. 
So what we're gonna do, we're gonna anchor some brick tie across like this. And once we reach up to our hell veil, we're gonna line it off with brick tie, go right across. So as you see here, most of them is in line with each other, go right across. I have Sanjay over there doing the joint at the back. As you all know, it's a double-sided arch we're doing here. So we're just gonna fill it in right now. We're gonna mix our model extremely soft. So that way it can go down in the joint properly. Yeah, one second. So as you see my model is a bit soupy, soft. You want it, you want it to be soft so that it can run all the way down. And you also want to use your trowel, compact it just like you see I'm doing right now. I'm gonna get it right down in there. See there is already filled. Trying to force it down in there. You want to get him right down there. Here I'm just doing a bit of my joint now. Um, you wanna, what I did here first, I go through and I use my joint to, to compact the joints, then I have it sit and dry for a few minutes. This model that I'm using, it dry pretty quickly. It's very important to make sure that it, the model dry properly before you go ahead and use your wire brush. If you don't wait till it dries properly, then it will leave a mark over your stone and it's gonna make your stone look really messy so give it some time make sure it's dry properly the way to test that you want to place your finger in the joint itself and once it doesn't come back wet you know that it's, it's probably jointable but using a wire brush the longer you leave it there to dry it's the better results you're gonna get from your job so as you see here I, I use my wire brush I, I go from the top down and from the bottom up the reason why I did it that, like that because I don't want to break the hedge from the stone. I can go straight from the top down because of the, the heart is there to prevent the hedge from breaking off. But for instance, the heart wasn't there. You want to always go from the bottom upwards and from the top down. That way you can prevent from breaking the edges from the, from the stone. The hedges of the joint. You can, so that way you can prevent um, from breaking off the hedges of the stone. If you have any questions concerning this arch, feel free to leave them in the comment. I try my best to answer all you guys' comment. And if there's anything that you feel like you missed out from this video, feel free to check it out in other arch video that we have. We have lots of video building these type of double-sided arch. So feel free to go and check those videos. Because as I said earlier, my my I thought I thought my camera was recording but it wasn't and we make a huge jump. But you get the idea of what I'm trying to explain here. As you see here I put a few brick ties across. As I go I'm gonna keep adding more brick ties right across tight with the inside arch. And um, as I go up we're gonna put 
um, lots of brick tie in our LVL um, and another thing you know, I want to point out as well once you go from the peak of the heart you go up around six inches you want to put a um, piece of um, weeping plastic go right across so you can put some weeping hole if there's any water were to go inside of the heart it can escape and come through that hole as you see here I'm filling from the outside um, as much as I can um, soon I'm gonna have to go on the inside to fill the inside section because as I go up to the hell wheel it's gonna be more difficult for me to get it from the inside I mean from the outside gonna go another six inches on top of this stone here and then we're gonna put our weeping plastic right across and afterwards we leave some weeping hole just in case there's any water get where get it get in on the inside it can escape and come through
So I just took down my just took down my arch. As you see this is the underneath the bottom of it. What I'm used what I'm doing right now I'm getting a grinder and um, I'm just trying to wire to grind out some of the mortar so that we can fill it. So that's what's coming up. well there you have it hope you get value from this video if you do get value from this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more fun videos like this one thank you for watching as always and i'll see you in the next one